Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about The Sanatorium by Sarah Pierce. As you can see, this is a Reese's Book Club pick. This is actually one from last year, I think, um, but I recently found it at my secondhand bookstore and picked this up. So I'm gonna start with a synopsis and then I'll tell you some of my thoughts about it. In this book, we follow Elin, who is a detective on leave, and she and her boyfriend or partner are currently visiting her estranged brother Isaac and his fiance at this hotel called Le Summit. It's in the Swiss Alps, and the big thing with this hotel, as you can see on the cover, which I'll put a bigger one up in the corner, but it basically is in the it's in the Alps, it's in a very snowy region, uh, very remote, and it's kind of located at the bottom of a couple, like in the valley of um, a big mountain range. And it used to be a sanatorium uh, many years ago. The original architect of that sanatorium is the grandfather of the person that is remodeling it, who I think is named Daniel, um, who ends up going missing pretty early on in this story. So there's a lot of controversy with this hotel as far as um, on the industrial side, or I'm sorry, on the uh, environmental side, and just with it being a sanatorium in the past, it has kind of a interesting history. So I went in thinking this book was going to largely be, you know, very atmospheric, feel like I, I wanted something that was going to be thrillery with cold, and I feel like this one was marketed as gothic and I feel like gothic a lot of times will give us a very eerie atmospheric feeling because the location is often characterized as well in gothic novels. I was really expecting that with this one. Not quite what we got. I would say this one was much more a detective novel. So as um, Elin and Will, who is her partner, go to visit Isaac Isaac and Laura. Isaac is her brother. Laura is the fiance. She works at the hotel. We very, we very quickly get an eerie sense and things start going wrong pretty quickly. Um, the second day that they're there, there's an avalanche warning. Um, there's a huge storm, avalanche warning. So the hotel is going to be quickly evacuated. Well, in this evacuation, we find that Laura has gone missing and they're all looking for her like crazy. Obviously, Elin being a detective, she takes it upon herself to kind of make it a point to go find her, despite the fact that she's on leave, right? It's a member of the, it's a close, someone that is closely related to, blah, blah, blah. I can cut that part out. Elin is taking the time to look for Laura as it's someone that she knew in her past and also her brother's fiance, despite their estrangement. So as they're trying to evacuate, there is an avalanche that basically blocks the path. So now we have a smaller group of people staying at this hotel, including Elin. And pretty quickly after that happens, we end up finding a body who actually is not Laura's. So here, Elin sort of takes it upon herself to become the detective or the inspector in this situation as she's kind of the only one there and the only one that can get to them. So we start to have this somewhat cat and mouse game as we find out who the killer is and what's taking place at this hotel. I don't really want to give any spoilers here, so I'm going to leave it at that. If you don't want spoilers, though, I would say stop the video here. I will more than likely mention them going forward. Um, I don't think I can without giving you my accurate thoughts. I'm not going to lie. I did not love this book. I was really excited to read it. It was a highly anticipated one for me because I really like gothic thrillers and in the fall or as it was leading into fall I really kind of wanted something that was going to be atmospheric and um give me really kind of creepy vibes. This one kind of for me failed to do so on all fronts. It was not gothic I would say. The setting was perfect and eerie and there could have been so much more done with that than there was. It felt like to me this story had a lot of great ideas or this author had a lot of great ideas and then when they finally came together it just didn't amount to that much. 
it wasn't horrible. I would give it 2.5, maybe three stars. At some point I kept reading because I wanted to obviously find out what happened. At the end, the ending for me just didn't make the book. Um, I also felt like it took 200 pages for us to get to any kind of action of like thrillery action taking place. And I think that that's way too long for a not quite 400 page book. That's like two thirds of the book almost before anything is really happening. Um, for me also, I found Elin to be just an awful detective. I didn't like her dialogue scenes. I found her really irritating. She has a lot of past trauma going on in this one, um, both with her brother and her job and different things that have happened to her. And I feel like there was a lot of emphasis put on those things, but I don't think she, it redeemed her character. Um, I would have said this was a detective novel and a lot of times for detective novels, if you don't like the actual main character, you're not going to really care for the book. And I think that's kind of what took place for me in this case. I found her to be irritating. I found her to be an awful detective. She does everything wrong and not in an endearing way. So if that's not something that bothers you, I would say really, if you like detective novels, this one is worth checking out because I think you might enjoy it. Um, if you're going in for a gothic thriller, probably steer clear of this one. I don't, you're not going to get that. Um, it was, it just kind of felt a bit tedious and none of the characters, uh, finally, the thing that was, the reveal at the end for me was a big stretch and it wasn't laid out well enough for it to merit what took place. It was just kind of a bizarre ending. Um, and like I said, the way that they tied everything together felt like it wasn't laid out enough. Um, and then we have this whole beginning part. I think the best way I can possibly describe it is that this was a book that was a big setup for a series, a detective series following this lady who truly, I hope gets better because she's terrible. She, yeah, terrible. Doesn't listen to anyone. Don't know where she was trained. It completely makes sense that she's on leave. She should be, she should find a new job. Anyway, I think those are kind of my thoughts. I struggled to even do a review on this one because the general consensus I feel like online is kind of the same thing. It was really underwhelming, not marketed the way it should be. And I'm wondering if maybe I got hyped from it being part of a celebrity book club. Um, I tend to, or well, I've had pretty good luck with celebrity book club books. So it was something that I was like, okay, you know, I think this is going to be, um, uh, maybe if not a full home run, at least worth it. And I don't think it was at the end, but you know, that might've just been me. I think I was suckered by like the setting looks so cool. And I was anticipating, like, I think for me, the fact that it was the sanatorium, they didn't do enough with it. There was such potential in this that just wasn't realized. I wanted there to be more of it. I wanted it to have a lot more to do with the actual sanatorium itself. And it just didn't, which, I don't know, some people might like that a little bit more, but for me, it kind of felt a little bit flat. Those are my thoughts on The Sanatorium by Sarah Pierce. If it's something that you're thinking about checking out, please let me know if you liked this. Um, it had a lot of mixed reviews on the internet and I'd be interested to see if someone liked it and why they did. I'd love to hear about it. Um, if this is something that you kind of felt about the same, do you generally also feel that celebrity book club books are underwhelming or what are your thoughts on those? I'd love to hear about it. Leave them in the comments below. And if you made it to the end of the video, leave me a little emoji. Thanks for being here, guys. See you next time.